Good day folks, me again. Well, for today's crappy little video, we're going to be looking at a nice, great, big, massive metal halide lamp again. It's not the one in front of you. The one in front of you is an Osram Powerstar HUIT. It's 2000 watts. It kicks out 205,000 lumens at a core temperature of 4200 Kelvin, and it lasts for 9000 hours. But anyway, they do a super version of this lamp, which I've been trying to track down, and I've managed to get one. So, Let's have a look at that one now. And there she is! Osram Powerstar HQIT Super. This lamp kicks out an incredible 245,000 lumens. That's 4,000 lumens more than the standard lamp. It's like throwing in an extra 400 watt metal halide lamp just for free. It does this obviously because it's got a different chemistry, you'll see from the arc that there's a lot of sodium in it. I believe this is a sodium scandium based lamp and the original was indium and thallium with a bit of sodium in it. The original lamp in my opinion did have a better quality of light it was more of a neutral colour where this lamp as uh, typical for high content sodium lamps has a yellowish tint to it. But anyway that's the cost you pay for having a much higher output. Oh and the service life is reduced 5,000 hours for this. Anyway, let's get the ND filters out and fire it up. That's what you're really here for, so I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Power in 3, 2, 1. Nothing. Oh shit, I need to plug it in, don't I? Right then. Power in 3, 2, one. Oh yeah. Lamps pulling 14 amps at 35 volts. Oh no. That's better. Oh yeah, that's pretty bright already. Turn the ND filter down. You might be able to see some of the halides melting and then evaporate as it joins the discharge mix. Pulling 20 amps from the mains. Yeah. Bit more ND. That's already quite bright and we're only at 13.6 amps at 60 volts it does run up pretty quick oh that's bright I'm gonna to have to change the aperture that's mega bright almost on full ND Mm. 11 amps at 170 volts see some colour starting to come in now 9.6 amps at 220 volts is what we're looking for Oh Jesus, that's bloody bright. Christ. Just the reflection on the wall is uh, incredibly bright. Voltage is up to 199. 10 amps. Still pulling 14 amps from the mains. Oof. Is incredibly bright. Oh, I can start to feel the heat as well. <laughs> wow. Oof. Incredible. You can imagine uh, 
a whole tower of these how bright that would be well when you see it on the broadcast it looks like daylight and that's why because there's quite a lot of these imagine the power bill I suppose it doesn't really matter when they only use it for a few hours a day for football or whatever it is they're doing Oof. right I'm gonna pause for a minute and put the other lens on so we can have some close-ups one moment please That is pretty goddamn bright. That's an incredible arc stream. It's really fat, which is typical of a high sodium content lamp. And it's really warm. I can feel the heat getting kicked off from here. I've got the window open slightly. I'm going to have to open it fully when I'm finished with this because it is getting really warm in here. Oof. And it's really bright, I may have mentioned that, or even just looking at the walls is dazzling. <laughs> but it's kicking out a fair bit of UV as well because the data sheet says that even during testing this must be run in a fully enclosed luminaire. I can believe them. Let's have a closer look, shall we? There's one end of the lamp. The electrode's been obscured slightly by some of the halides but we'll see if we can get a closer look let's just pan across oops focus there we go incredible view well I tried to get a shot of the one of the electrodes but due to the looking through a quartz at such an angle couldn't really get a good shot so anyway, it's, well, I hope you find that interesting. Thanks for watching, if you're still here, and bye for now. Oof.